Well, if I go back to my color coding legend, what does it tell me? Well, switch to power, we're using orange. If I follow, I'm doing a thing called walking the technology. If I walk through it and I add the pieces together, I know that that's orange. I don't care what's on the other side of that arrow because I'm a master of the basics and those basics are the rules that absolutely have to be. And you get confidence in that, you no longer get controlled by what you don't know and you're starting to control the process. But to do that, you have to master the basics. And again, going back to my point about technicians top down, I'm a technician, I'm success successfully fixing cars, but you don't have to understand to fix cars a lot today. You can do a Google search and here's a step by step what you need to do. You can call up a tech service. But we want to develop minds that are going to be experts. And to do that, we can't just be top down. We have to be bottom up as well. And we're going bottom up and we're doing these little pieces like building that engine. I know that that's a battery. I know that's a power supply. I know that's a switch. So therefore, this must be that. So what we're doing is we're teaching a behavior. So let's go over here. What color does this have to be? There's no question about it. Because what do I have? I have a load. The load has a power side. What else does the load have to have? This is a fundamental rule. And I tell you, back in the days when I was working on electronics all the time, when I first started my business, I'd go to different shops. But I walked up to the shop, and they were in the middle of a big, big discussion about how to diagnose this circuit on this dashboard. And I simply walked up. I said, where's your load? It's here. Well, does it have power? Does it have ground? And they didn't have the answer. And so they went to check. And then they could follow the pathway up. But instead, they were so overwhelmed by the complexity of it that they didn't think of the simple, right? So this color coding forces us to think in simple. Here I have a load. It has a power side, so there's no ifs, ands, or buts. It's going to be ground. So then the question is, which ground is it? Ground all the time or, or switched ground? It has to be switched to ground. Otherwise, it'd be on all the time. And it is simple as that. Now, just think if you could take a first-year student and let them understand that and see that. Instead of being controlled by the complexity of the diagram, let them see the simplicity. Because I'll guarantee you, most students will look up here and they'll focus on what they don't know, and that is a roadblock. It just will not happen. Lay that seat, and you could possibly change their life. So a lot about learning is simply about techniques, techniques anyone can learn. And so wiring diagrams not only help you to fix cards, but it helps you to develop those behaviors and learn those techniques. So here's the bottom line. I am going to be my own best teacher. My service bay is going to be my best classroom. And my every experience is going to be a meaningful one because I know that my goal for expertise is to take a thread and tie everything together. And you can do it every day without wasting an extra second of time by just turning on that awareness. Thank you very much.